There seems to be a standstill today, maybe some sort of forced stop by a group of people who were overindulgent and this was seen by um, someone in leadership, someone who has an awful lot of care for the people involved. Um, it's causing a lot of weight for this person, a lot of um, burden for them to carry. Uh, they're looking at the behaviors, they're looking at the actions, they're looking at the ways of the people who um, caused this issue, right? Who are with these negative people. Um, it could have had to do with at work, right? There could have been some sort of overindulgence that someone um, maybe suspected and then actually was found out. And now there's repercussions for that. There's um, this need to look within, right? Um, it's almost like if you get to it, you will um, be relieved of the consequences of it. I'm going to say it like that exactly, but that's kind of how it's looking here. We got mother and father out, right? Mother light attribute, uh, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in uh, giving birth to life, right? But the, um, the negative aspect of that is smoldering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for uh, becoming independent. And there we go with that codependency, which the devil coming up twice in a reading. I mean, that's, um, addictions, codependencies, bad contracts, right? That's things that we're bound to that aren't good for us. And we know that, right? And um, we need, we might need to nurture ourselves and remember um, the joy of living, right? The joy of giving life to projects, the joy of giving life to yourself, right? And enjoying the life uh, that you are bringing into the world for others to also experience, right? Um, and then we have the father attribute talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. Um, the negative aspect is a dictatorial uh, control and abuse of authority. And it's almost like um, this person here who is in authority, uh, I don't want to say that they're abusing it at all. They're definitely watching other people um, abuse, misuse, overuse, take advantage of. And it's it's been noticed, right? You have the justice card here. There's, there's a need for rebalance. Um, and justice is blind, right? It, it's not... Uh, favoring one side or another it's favoring truth it's favoring honor it's favoring trust so when those things aren't um, in balance justice comes in and rebalances the scales it rebalances the life and um it it there's two uh two cards here the parental cards of, of support right um and how do we support one another how do we help one another how do we support and help ourselves Right, because uh, the devil energy twice is very powerful energy, and the healing energy there's like a healing energy and a new beginning if we surrender. Right, surrender next to splendor. It's almost like we're um, enamored with this thing that isn't good for us with this action group of people. Keep take it how it resonates, but it's almost as if we're enamored by it, and we have to surrender to the fact that it isn't good for us and that it's taking control over aspects of our life and it's becoming unmanageable, right? And um, through the surrender to that, we, we enter into a new beginning. We begin to see um, the healing energy that is available to us. And it wouldn't be visible and wouldn't be available to us if we weren't forced to stop and see things from a different perspective, right? Really look within. You got the hermit next to the judgment in reverse. That's really um, shining a light on the inside of us, shining a light on the interior self that says, you know, how could I be doing this better? What do I need to let go of? Where am I making rash judgments? Where am I not following my soul's path to where I belong, where, where I should be? You know, all of these are questions that you're asking yourself right now. Um, and it's leading to a new beginning. Two things that it's recommending here are um, write it down. You have the scribe, right? Preserving knowledge and information or altering facts and plagiarizing others' work. Um, 
preserving the knowledge and the information, uh, you know, like the old saying, those who uh, forget history are doomed to repeat it. It's kind of the same thing. Like if we if we journal what's going on with ourselves, if we take note of maybe this is of someone else's actions and we need to kind of um, write it down, take note of the things that are actually occurring so that when we confront it, when we have this conversation, whether that be within ourselves or with another, right, maybe there needs to be some sort of... Um, Oh, what's that show where they, where they all uh, help a person stop doing what it is they're supposed to be, or what they're not supposed to be doing? You know, it's it's kind of like that feeling and vibe where, um, if you if you want to talk to somebody about some way that you're uncomfortable with or some actions that they're taking, it's better to be specific. Don't be vague. Don't say, well, you always do this or this always happens. It's better to say, um, when this specific thing occurred, this was the repercussion and this is specifically how I felt, you know, and that's a lot easier to do um, if we keep track of them and if we write them down. And it's also easier in, in, in uh, retrospect to go back there. I can't tell you how many times um, I was made to feel by others like I was a liar or they were uh, like I was crazy because they were in such disbelief of my personal experiences that they couldn't equate in themselves that it was real. And that left me feeling um, like maybe I was delusional, but then I would go back to my writings. I would go back to the things that I had collected and, and uh, continue to go back to those things throughout time and realize that no, those were very real occurrences that I did actually have to live through and had to process. And it isn't for someone else to um, have to ingest that information if they're obviously not ready for it, right? That's an inside job. That's something that has to be done internally. And so it's really important for you to keep track of how you're feeling and what you've been going through um, so that you can see how far you've come, so that you can see the reality of it when, when um, you get a little time and space between that that occurrence, right? And um, it helps you to learn and grow and, and progress in a way that doesn't repeat itself, right? Um, we also have carnelian here. It says, uh, the back of the card says, what is it? A cherry red chalcedony used by ancient Romans in cigarette rings because um, the, the wax doesn't stick to it. By modern folk to ward off insecurities, carnelian's fire energy helps spin us out of fearful thought cycles into action. Who needs it? The under stimulated anyone looking to get acquainted with their fears hello fear my name is name your name um what we have some beautiful work to do together now stfu and let's do this where to put it wherever you want to inject some passion and confidence i.e your palate or your pelvis and when to use it when you find your creativity or your um love drive on sleep mode go with your gut this is gonna um enhance your ability to uh, move through this, right? It's going to give you some inspiration. It's going to fill you back up with um, trust in yourself, with trust in your, in your know-how and um, trust in your gut, right? It's really going to set, set the fire ablaze because especially after some sort of um, hold, hold up like this, some sort of, it's almost, I don't want to say like it's a punishment, but it's a consequence for an action. Whatever, whatever is occurring in this, it's a consequence for an action, uh, cause and effect. Remember, we always talk about cause and effect. So it's up to you, um, where you want to go with it and how you want to handle it. But the cards are recommending that you take a parental approach with yourself or with that person in a loving and nurturing way. Right. And, um, remember to follow your guts, write everything down that, uh, means something, you know, that, that, that if your, if your gut takes note of it, you take note of it too. And that will help you, um, see the, patterns help you see the issues and it will help you um, surrender to the points that uh, are maybe taking more control over you than you have of them and that will help you um, to get into that new beginning to really see and to rebalance that justice you might need to leave behind some things that you used to um, love you know or uh, 
thought that you did. Maybe it was a, a habit. Maybe it was a group of people. Maybe it was an environment. Um, maybe it was a mindset. Whatever it was, uh, you leaned on it um, until it became toxic and you need to stand on your own two feet. So we have to acknowledge that, right? And that's okay. That's the first step. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful first step into a new beginning of your life, right? It's, it's recommending that you get to work, that there's a lot to learn here. And all of that is available to you. So I'm wishing you all the best today. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. If you like the reading, please give it a like and subscribe because it really does help the channel. And um, I hope to see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.